Sunrise On Demand now, and it's the talk many parents put off, but sooner or later there will be questions that you need to answer. So, how do you tell your kids about the birds and the bees? For the mother in the movie Now and Then, it was all about being creative. I've been thinking about what you ask me. About sex. Yes, dear. <laughs> you say that very casually. It's very scary for mommy. It's like somebody going, boo, ah, that's what sex is. This is a flower, right? Okay. Well, all women have a garden. And a garden needs a big hose to water it. Or a small hose, as long as it works. Sometimes. As a direct result of this conversation, Chrissy will spend a significant part of her adult life obsessed with gardening. <laughs> All right. Let's get some better advice. Sunrise parenting expert Dr. Michael Cargreg joins us now. Michael, good morning to you. Good morning. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Forget gardens. When should parents start talking to their kids about sex? Look, the research shows that the earlier you start, the better. And um, this is a very important part of parenting, very important part of child development. And we know that the attitudes that you can convey will make a big difference long term. But it has to be age appropriate. Well, let's break it up into age groups then. How do we deal with curious kids who are under five? Well, with your five-year-old, you need to, first of all, be really calm and relaxed and praise them for asking the questions. Keep it really simple. The best answers are short, sharp and to the point. Get them to talk about their body parts. Um, name them, where babies come from, what is safe and unsafe touching. And the most important thing is not to overload them with information. Those kids will be curious about their bodies, so that's a great entree to be able to talk about sexuality generally. All right, Michael, what about moving up an age group? What about kids in the early primary school years? What kinds of things do they need to know? Well, this is the most important time. The research shows that between 8 and 10 in particular, the messages are crucial. So we stress that sex is very normal and natural. Now, here's where parents don't have to worry. They can go to the hormonefactory.com, which is La Trobe University's fantastic website, which helps kids see that sex is normal and natural. It helps them to uh, find out exactly what they want to know and you can communicate your own values. So you'd be talking about how babies are born, how babies are made and a sort of basic understanding of intercourse uh, and all of those things are very, very age appropriate. That might be a great thing for parents to read before we send the kids there. I'm thinking I, I might go and get some ideas on what to say. Absolutely the brilliant. Next, and there are, also, yeah. there are also books like Mummy Laid an Egg, which is one of my favourite books, <laughs> which is a picture book you can read, yes. or How Babies Are Made. Both great little books to, to use as a, a bit of a cue card. Yeah, I think my mum left the old Where Did I Come From in my room and <laughs> yes. just backed away. Next age group then, tweens and teens. Is there anything off limits? How do you talk to kids in this age group? No, nothing should be off limits because what we communicate will determine, in fact, whether or not they become sexually active. The latest research basically shows that the more accurate information they get, the less likely they are to get into trouble. So we talk about the biology of sex and reproduction, uh, relationships, making decisions, sexual diversity, and very important, uh, contraception and STIs, uh, and of course, the more they know, the less likely they are to become sexually active. And again, you can use lots of great pamphlets and material from family planning. And there's a great website put out by the Mari Stopes people called likeitis.org. Fabulous place just to direct kids to. So we don't have to worry about this. It's much easier now than ever before. Okay, so uh, what are your overall tips for sex ed in general? I think the most important thing is to use age appropriate language, to be open and honest, um, to make sure that you encourage your co child to talk, be calm, they'll pick up if you're not, uh, use words they can understand, determine your, your kid's level of knowledge and that you will do by the questions that they ask and be really clear about your values and your concerns. Some yeah. great advice, Michael. Thank yeah. you very much. And thanks for breaking it down into all those groups for us. It's all Pleasure, makes such guys. a difference. You yeah. have a good day.
Thank you. And well done to whoever sent that one in too. That's a great topic. It so was, wasn't it? Yes, that's yeah. Sunrise On Demand. So you can vote for tomorrow's topic by heading to our Facebook page or um, Soapbox or find us on Twitter and have a vote.